Okay, more Burnettson. Oh, so this is Burnettson, I guess, not these hands. Yes, so. Do you think that's actually how his name is pronounced? I have no idea. Okay. I, like burn <laughs> I, I butcher everyone. I don't think I even pronounced my own screen name correctly. So. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Limping Rage, uh, 13 Big Blinds Deep, uh, 14 Big Blinds Deep. Loves it. I love it with just a weak range in general. I mean, obviously, um, I mean, I guess I try to, like, uh, put game flow and whatnot uh, yeah. into my uh, preflop strategy more than most, but I think I guess maybe in hyper turbos people are more inclined to just like shove over here with the wide range. Yes. And but one thing I think that's interesting to consider Production is away. Yanni whoever is is winning, which in general I generalize to uh I generalize as um causing someone to be slightly less likely to bluff. Um so certainly in this scenario do you want to make a bet about that? Like, uh, like, just query through hands of like this, and how many like shows sure, over I would, I would absolutely make a bet about that. Well, sure. I mean, you, so you're very confident. Would you give me odds? Uh, yes, I would give you. What odds. odds would you give me? I would give you. Let's see, okay, I'm gonna well, think about. Well, we can talk. I would give you. Home, okay, sure. Fine. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, I tend to be more on the side of like, like. That's like not something that that's present or, or is, is particularly useful. But at the same time, like, I have no evidence for it either. Sure. So like, sure. Uh, I'm of course making I make tons of psychological generalizations and I apply them. I'm, I'm the psychology major. I'm supposed to be the one who's interesting. Supposed to do all of that. Okay. Um, but so, so I think limping here with like like aces and kings is is uh, like often a really good play against someone who isn't honestly I about shoving wide. Um, sure. I mean, certainly there's nothing. Yeah. Sure, okay. Someone's not three pitch. There's obviously situations where you do anything. I think, in general, if someone's not too aggressive to your preflop opens... I'm sorry, if if someone is uh, aggressive to your preflop sure. opens, this is something that I do with, like, a weak range of hands. Yeah. And maybe if I, you know, thought, like, oh, okay, this guy's been shoved on me a while, uh, and I've been doing this a lot, maybe I'd, like, throw on like aces or kings or just strong hands sometimes. Honestly. So this guy hasn't shoved on you in a while is something that would make you more likely to try a trap with aces or kings? See, I would think that that just makes again, you... <laughs> again, this is a game flow generalization. My own uh, perception is that people will not um, when they have just won a pot or have just been aggressive, they're less likely to do that again. I, I That's say, another I, generalization I have, but I think it's possible. I also think that like uh, um, someone who doesn't jam over with a wide range probably does not jam over with a wide range, um, and so if he hasn't shoved on you in a bit, I, it's very, very different. Like if this is someone you played well, a thousand not, games I'm against. Not, yeah, I'm not saying true. suddenly someone who jams over and open with twenty percent of hands is going to do with fifty percent of hands. Sure, but I may say okay, well maybe okay shove like five percent okay. more hands here. All right. Anyways. Generally, I do this w with with weak ranges, well, uh, and but, but I'll like do stuff it like to, to define weak to me. Tell me what like would you leave the total like a trash hand or? a hand? Well, I don't think you'd want to live total trash, especially in a scenario where most of the game is going to be shove over the range, razor fold. Sure, you'd want to do it with a hand that um, has you know has some value here, like something that it, I'd probably start with hands that. I'm raising the the best hands that I'm raising pre flop, and I'm not calling with a shove. To a shove, that's probably where I'd start. Should you read my ebook? Uh, is that what you said? <laughs> it's, 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 it's. I mean that that's it's, 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 that's definitely where I'd start. Uh, I certainly would not do this with seven deuce off. Okay, that makes sense. That would be too too so. valuable to invest the other big blind to try to get a fold. <laughs> like basically, I, mean, too I think. To raise. Well, I mean, you could just fold it, but. In general, I'm sorry, 7-2 off preflop, I, sorry, fold, <laughs> folding, okay, anyways, but certainly the hands that are not going to play as well post-flop and just suck total balls, yeah. um, min-raise, and yeah. if it, and, you know, get the, get the fold equity to make a profit there. Yeah, I agree. Um, actually, so, uh, uh, how do you pronounce Lonnie Lettuce? I always could just call him H. Yolga, but, like, uh... I think it's Lot Lonnie, yeah, I don't know. Okay, oh, whatever. See, he actually IM'd me once and was like, you know you're you're uh, a retard for not raising, like, like a lot of the, like, like so, some of the hands that I limp um, at this deck. That's, which goes, his big point was, like, investing the extra big blind when you have, like, something like, certainly 7-deuce offsuit, but, like, some of those more speculative hands, too, is just worth it. 
Um, so like, like that's to your point of like like raising uh, more of those hands. Sure. Um, but okay, so this is an awesome flop. Just a bet when check to expect to awesome flop. I mean. Yeah, it's a fine flop, but I, I mean, conceivably, almost any flop would be a good flop in this situation, because... I'm an enthusiastic person. Sure. Um, <laughs> so, min bet, sure. Sure. Um, obviously, it's a board we can check raise some frequency from the big blind. Sure. But obviously. Uh, so, I mean, obviously, if this guy... I guess you wouldn't expect ace high that much. Maybe you'd put no. slight weight on ace high. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. Three six seems very likely. Three six. I'd say three high. is probably the most likely hand in its range. Okay. Or Makes king sense. high. No, I'd say three is the most likely hand in its range. I mean, I think three six king probably. But two, six, I think with a six, you're going to slightly weight him check raise in the flop. Okay, it's possible. You may also lead more often with six or something like that. Sure, exactly. But you'd basically expect this from any player every time with a three. Okay. So okay. I would say that's his most likely hand. Okay. Um, I usually lead here with a three. Given, given a that three. on this turn, I would probably barrel pretty wide. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, I, I, this is a card I think you need to triple on a decent amount. Um, because, sure. like, yeah, like, yeah. like totally. seven five, um, like seven, like whatever. But, yeah. Um, but the, we got lead into, led into it. What do you think here? Uh, la, la, la. I mean, it, it certainly looks really great, but I oh, guess sure. that's why everyone <laughs> like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, given the fact that this has been a very small pot, you'd really expect if this guy did have a monster hand on the flop that he would have check raised it, or he would have, you know, put more bets in. So I'd say, as far as made hands that he could have here, you're basically just saying six, seven, seven, three, uh, maybe and five, five four, four that didn't want to check raise. So that's much. not that many hands. Also, could just be a seven someone turned to seven. Um, given that, I think you probably just... This could just be a three and a, or a six block betting and like okay. maybe like min-raise and then shove river. Yeah. Or just flat-out shove with a, a semi-wide range of hands. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, I mean, so certainly if I had ace-king here, I'd probably just do what Bernetson did. It's kind of weird sizing, though. Like, yeah, he's just basically committing himself. I think he'd just rather just shove it in, right? Yeah, I, don't know. I think so. I just don't think it Who knows? It's, it's ba this, now this, I mean, debating this is just like, you know, uh, it's just like psychology. Yeah. Like, what, what's he going to be more afraid of in all in or this? Yeah. Who knows? Okay, so we get it in. And there, I just don't think this was the right play if he's planning on folding here ever. Burnett's in any um yeah, I think you should make it smaller size. Yeah, I think if you if you're planning on, yeah, yeah. so aces and queen six, wow. that is surprising. <laughs> so yeah. we, I guess we did. Re I guess I read that a little wrong. I don't know. I mean, he obviously shows up with queen, queen six sometimes. Like, sure, it just wasn't something that I would have highly weighted. I would expect no, him at I, some. I, I would expect that he wouldn't check raise the flop a majority of the time. Yeah, I think so too. Small. Like, it's although just I such guess a that, small like, pot. You don't expect people to trap in such small pots like that. Yeah, but that's why, like, yeah, I guess you maybe check call and lead small in the turn, make sure yeah, that you got sure. something from it. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think he has queen six there very often either. 